Hello guys and welcome to a Clash of Clans video. Now, as you can see here, I've actually joined up with a new clan called Darkside Kings and I'm going to be honest, they are a pretty good clan. As you can see, I may be at the top, but we've got a pretty uh, nice amount of members. Um, I am just a member of it though, it was just a clan that I found. I'm not like, advertising for them or anything, but I'm just sort of updating you on where I am with my clan. and. In this video, I'm going to go over some war attack replays, so I'll be right back with the first one. Okay guys, so as you can see, this attack was the second player, and his base looks kind of weird, doesn't it, you think? Because some of the Tunnel 9 plays are actually pretty strong, and then when you, when you sort of consider this, and how weak this base is, it kind of seems a bit weird. I'm just going to turn the volume down a little bit here. And as you can see, there was actually a dragon in the clan castle, which I really didn't really expect. So that kind of didn't do me very well. I can see the minions in the raid spell, and combined with the wizards, definitely were more than enough to take out that dragon in good timing. And now, as you can see, there's a herd of balloons over here, and I was kind of concerned about what these guys were doing. So as you can see, they're getting all bunched up, so what I did was I dropped a healing spell, just to hopefully bring them back up to full health. And my Barb King is actually under attack a little bit, so I decided to use his Iron Fist. And then the enemy Barb King comes along and is like, hey, I'm going to attack you. But my King just completely power attacks that guy. And as you can see, it looks like a 2 star might actually be possible. So now it goes to 50%. And as you can see, the King's about to go down. Now the Queen's doing some work on the Elixir storage. But all the other troops are gone, so I'm kind of a little bit worried at this point. So, as you can see, there goes the Queen's real cloak, and she's trying to clear out the expo and a few of the other buildings. But unfortunately, she is not going to get the town hall, which was kind of unfortunate. So, as you can see, there we go. I ended up wrapping up with a one star victory. So, now I'm going to go on to the second attack. So, as you can see, on the fifth base, which is the only one that hadn't really been two or three starred on the, on the way down. I decided to use hog riders because I figured air attacks were going to be a bit of a pain, especially with that air sweeper over there. So I load up the dragon as I was expecting it this time with some archers. And as you can see over here, I'm trying to get that giant bomb because I knew there was one over there and I thought there'd be one in all the other slots. And the hog rider wasn't quite luring it out and I'd already thought that it maybe there wasn't a giant bomb in that spot. So as you can see, my clan castle troops combined with my wizards took out that. And as you can see, I thought there was no giant bomb there, so I thought it was in the clear, which was... I definitely was not in the clear at this point, so as you can see, now I'm trying to... There you go, I've got that big bomb there. And now I've just dropped all of my hog riders down at the bottom over here, and the king and the queen. And then so that giant bomb nearly takes out all of my hog riders. That, well, they would have done if I didn't drop that level 5 healing spell. As you, as you may have noticed, I've got the upper level now since the last episode. But as you can see, this attack looks like, yeah, definite to, if not a three star victory. And that's what I was thinking at this point. But then, some, it kind of goes a little bit pear shaped from this point onwards. So as you can see, it looks pr pretty much fine. Most of my hog are still alive, I'm one big bunch, so they're easy enough to heal. But there goes the King's Iron Fist as he was getting attacked, so I figured I'd activate it. But as you can see, there's still a few wizards which are following the King and the Queen around. This definitely looks like a three star. I mean, you're thinking Town Hall is right there. Two or three star, easy win. Now, the Wizard Tower is attacking my Hog Riders at this point, so I dropped a heal spell on them. And now the Hogs are getting slightly. Uh, the numbers of Hogs are dropping. Giant Bomb gets those Hog Riders, about takes them out, really. And the Wizard Tower and Archer Tower are still standing. Now, as you can see, the Wizard Tower and Archer Towers are attacking my Wizards and, and the Queen. But that's not really that much of a problem. The king's doing cleanup work over here, and now you can probably sort of guess where the raid's going to go wrong. So the gold storage goes down, the archer tower goes down, followed by the gold mine, and then lastly the final defense goes down. And yeah, this definitely is looking like a three star at this point. But then something really bad happens. The queen first of all targets that barbarian king stand. Then, she just turns at the last second to get completely annihilated by the Barbarian King. Now, my king's attacking a wool before he realises, hey, enemy Barbarian King inbound. 
then g gives a bit of a king battle, but my king already being low on health, you can probably guess he's going to lose the fight. So this little barbarian king here cost me the three star, which really was not very good at all. Now there's one more attack I want to show you guys, and that is, no, it looks like there's a, so it looks like all the bases I've attacked are getting cleaned up by my clan members, so that's pretty good. So this is the guy that I attacked initially, and he is using a go wee wee attack, and usually, well this is the, he used to be the leader of the clan, but for some reason he stepped down to co-leader, um, recently today. Now as you can see, what he does is, he first of all drops his guns, which is, you know, kind of normal at this point, but as you know, there's a dragon in the clan castle. Now he's using five witches, which I do tend to like actually when I'm using Go, go Rui, although he, that is a lot of dark clicks, so I wouldn't really use that at this level. Because you do have to bring less golems, but things the witches continually spawn skeletons, so it definitely does sort of combat the power of like the Inferno Towers attacking your troops because the skeletons are going to be what's up front and they're the ones that are going to be taking all the hits not your witches and wizards. So as you can see the attack is going pretty well at this point and he's pushed into the town hall town hall's gone down Clank of troops have been dropped and there's a pecker in there. Now that pecker definitely I believe is going to be a pretty bit good help in this raid. As you can see a lot of the defences are going down now so the core of the base has been completely destroyed and all the troops are going out of the back door, going straight around the back of the base. Well, as you can see, the skeletons very wisely going after that cannon, and the peck is now going to finish up the archer tower. And that looks to be about every defense gone in the base, I would say. King's used his iron fist. Queen not even used her royal cloak ability yet, which he just popped right there. Giant bomb, not really an issue though. Killed a few archers, I, I, I think. Now, as you can see, I'm going to speed it up here. And there you go, that wraps up a 3 star victory from Stone Generator. So thank you for watching this little video anyways, uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you want to see the conclusion of this clan war, definitely you know show some support on the video, like, comment, say if you want to see the, you know, if you want to see the results of the clan war. I mean, as you can tell it's definitely going pretty well now, as both, 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 uh, both of the bases that I've attacked have been three starred by other clan members, which is kind of embarrassing, I guess, but you know, it, it's fine. I, I said to my clan, though, the last three clan war attacks I've done have for some reason been fails, and I've got no idea why. But I think also, before I do wrap up the episode, guys, you guys are probably interested in the attack on my base, as I'm actually using a base design that I saw from Clash with Cam. He hasn't really released as the Town Hall 9 version yet, but he did do a this is a Town Hall he did a Town Hall 10 version, so I basically stepped it down to a Town Hall 9 version. So as you can see they can drop their troops in that section right there. And there's Teslas and everything near there. And this base is very effective against Go Wipe and Go Wee Wee. Which is what the, the base was initially intended for it to be attacked by. So as you can see, he's already struggling to get into this sort of section here with his wall breakers. So as you can see now, it does look like he's getting to that town hall. But the thing is, these golems right here, the meat shield, are going around the base. And now it, that's just leaving his queen, wizards and a few archers undefended in the centre of the base. And you can probably guess how that's going to go. That's not sort of the most dangerous area of my base. And now as you see the clan castle troops have come out to join the fight. And he barely gets any hits on the town hall at all, to be honest. So as you can see golems going around here, sort of doing a bit of work. The wizards sort of cleaning up these buildings. It's got some pecker going around the base. But I can see the pecker are getting uh, heavily sidetracked. So they're not really doing what he wanted them to, of going in the centre. Which is really what happened to me when I attacked as well, so it seems quite a good coincidence. I mean, see, my clan castle troops, that, that witch, I've got to hand it to her, that witch did a really good job at defending this base. So as you can see, the Barbarian King and Barbarian and Pekka are going to go down very soon. As you can see, the King's gone down, the Barbarians are going to go down, and all that's left is three Pekka, but look at this witch. She's the only clan castle troop left, 
And the fact that she continually spawns skeletons and never ever hops over that wall means the P.E.K.K.A. can't do anything because the P.E.K.K.A. aren't quick en enough to attack her skeletons quicker than she as quick as she's producing them. So this skeleton's just going to get sidetracked there, and there we go. I wouldn't consider that, I mean that is a loss technically, but I wouldn't really say that's too much of a bad loss. So thank you for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. Goodbye from Pots and Plum.